Hey guys, welcome back. This is part three of fixing up this, uh, this is a, I don't know what year it is exactly, but it's a bush hog, trail hunter bush hog 4400 or something like that. It's a, a made in America machine made in Salem, Alabama. Um, it's got a Honda engine that we rebuilt in, uh, part two. And um, we got it all put back together here, and we're gonna go ahead and put it in the machine. Yes, I have a Fram filter on there. They, I could not get anything else. I hate using Fram, but that's all I could get at my uh, local store here. So, um, got it filled up with oil and everything, and it is ready to go back into the machine here. So, I gotta get it lowered down from that bench and get it back here installed in the cradle with the transmission which i'm going to clean up a little bit and um then we can go ahead and start getting it wired up and put back together i do have some cv boots and brake pads that i have to replace um you know they're a little bit wore out these brake pads are pretty expensive so i might make my own um get some uh brass pads from mcmaster car and just kind of rivet them on there or whatever um so yeah, let's go ahead and get this uh, engine lowered down and get to putting this thing back together. A little hoist here. Hook it up. Let's go ahead and get this thing down. Okay, so we got a lot of this put back together. I'm not getting that much on camera. There's just so many little things to do, like wiring and all kinds of stuff. This wiring was all just mumbo jumboed together, so um, I had to take a lot of time and kind of organize stuff. It's still not 100%, but it's a lot better than it was. Um, I had to get this throttle um, straightened up. It was really wobbly. The linkage to the transmission was just kind of all over the place, so. I did order some seals for right here, but it's taken a while for them to come in. So I'm going to go ahead and just put it back together um, without replacing the boots right now because this boot's ripped. I do have the boots, but I'm going to go ahead and just do all that at once when I replace the seals because I, I really do want to drive this thing around and test it. Because um, also, there's <clears throat> going to have to do some brake work to it. These are like the worst design on brakes I've ever seen. You can see where it's like ate the pad away at an angle just because it's, it's just a crappy design. So I'm probably going to just get some uh, like some calipers off a of Honda Rubicon or Rancher or Foreman or something and modify um, some plates to just uh, put the calipers on, on these rotors. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that just yet. I'll have to fabricate something. But these these brakes are just trash and they don't... Now let's uh, go ahead and start getting this thing put back together.
Alrighty. Let's go ahead and get this uh, hood installed. Alright, let's give this a try. That was a lot harder than it should have been. This uh, tailgate sticks a little bit, so I'll go ahead and take these latches apart and see if I can fix it. So I got these things out and they have this um, basically adjusting screw here to where you can move this rod in or out so I'm going to adjust it a little bit so they open a little bit better. And some fluid film on here. Get these latches all greased up. Much better. Alright. Awesome. Meow. Meow. Hi, kitty cat. Hello. You about to have some babies? Hey, Mama. All right. Here we are. Who's ready to go for a ride? I still got to recover the seat and uh, get some tires and a couple other little things, but for the most part, we're uh, we're good to go. Let's crank this thing up and go for a ride. Let's see, we got half a tank of gas here. Honda engines cranking right up. All right, let's go. All right, that's low gear right here. I think it's got a freaking pull and low gear in it. And we'll go into a uh, high gear here.
definitely has a locking front end and rear end. <laughs> Man, it just climbs right up that. It's a lot steeper than it looks on camera. Oil pressure is looking really good. We're at like 30 something psi. All right, so bumpy. 30 35 psi. bit of work with this thing. Got a fairly full load here. I'm sure we could put more, but let's see how this goes first. some of the biggest stinking worms over here check that guy out <laughs> that guy is humongous I've caught him even bigger than that before they're like little snakes anybody hungry there you go wormy these things actually have a hydraulic uh, lift that on too. All I need is a uh, one of those electric rams. It might be too heavy for me to lift by hand.
Okay, so this might be exceeding the load carrying capabilities of this machine, but let's give it a try anyway. So this is a ton of tongue weight. The excavator is pretty much all the way in the front here. And we're still not on the bump stops yet. So them axles are pretty much straight across so I think it's got some pretty heavy duty suspension on it all right let's see uh see if this bush hog will pull it so the excavator is about 2,000 maybe 2,200 pounds plus a trailer so let's see what it can do
that was pretty fun i think pulled it quite well um for the size machine that it is i mean like the suspension it it holds it no problem um so yeah i do have a project coming up with this excavator so um be seeing a video of that um pretty soon okay so this is probably a good video of how not to unload an excavator Dam. The water's down pretty low right now. little pit stop here <laughs> B 
beautiful little creek. You know, it's a shame that uh, people would do all this graffiti on this nicely built bridge just two years ago. Okay guys, I think this is going to conclude this video of this Bush Hog Trail Hunter 440 or 4400. Um, it's doing pretty good. So it drove me all the way over here to the Goat Rock Marina and um, haven't had any problems out of it. Except for maybe could probably use some new brake pads. Other than that, it's doing good. So uh, if you guys like this kind of stuff, make sure you um, subscribe if you'd like to. And um, I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care.